in the world do we go from typically hitting our ball on the bottom two grooves, which is not what we want, how do we get it up to the fourth and fifth groove up there? That's really where the pros are striking their iron, up about four or five grooves. See, pros hit their irons something like this. Go in, baby. Get there. Unfortunately, most of the rest of us do uh, something like this. But with three little things that you can do, you can start hitting it much, much, much more consistently. Let's get to it. And in case you're wondering, today we are out at Sweetens Cove, nine hole golf course in Tennessee. It's pretty awesome. I played there one time all day. It's epic. Check it out. It is a bucket list place, I gotta say. Non-sponsored video, by the way. That's just my opinion. Saw it on my track man and said, you guys are gonna love it. Here we go. So here's what I'm not talking about when it comes to striking your irons. Because you see that thumbnail, it appears as though that what we need to do is get our hands forward. I, I, don't, don't do that. See, what's gonna happen when you start getting your hands forward is it's going to open the club face up like so. So the more your hands go forward, you could shut down the face, but mostly it's gonna open. So when you push your hands forward and impact, the face is wide open. Well, to square the face, you gotta do this. You gotta turn it, shut it down. So you gotta bow that. That's not a bad move, but you gotta really bow it. When you do that, it starts getting your right shoulder over the ball. So we're all trying to look like Colin Morikawa, bowing that through impact, but we're not Colin Morikawa, so we do it and it forces our right shoulder over and that would produce something like this, which I don't think you want. Because we kind of were doing what we wanted to and you don't want to hit it from there. That's a bogey at least. And that's if you have a good short game. So I know what you're thinking now is like, okay, I don't want to do that. I know, I'll just hit more down on the ball. No, down is bad. When you're swinging your irons, your hands, they're coming down. Never hit down on the ball, ever, because your hands are coming down. So down is already into the formula. So if you're hitting down on the ball, if you're your hands are coming down. And if you add, I'm gonna hit down too, now you're getting more steep on the ball. And what it does is it shortens or lessens your margin of error. The steeper you come, the less margin of error you have. And as most golfers, we need a lot larger margin for error. We really wanna get that club coming in much more shallow. It's still coming down plenty, but then it comes in at a much shallower angle of attack. And yes, I know that in theory could produce a thin shot, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid here. But whatever you do, don't try to hit down on it. Okay, so we're gonna have three drills that you're gonna do, do them in this order, so that by the end, you'll be like, man, I'm striping it. So when you go to the range, this video is your practice session. So our first drill is gonna be this. We have to, we have to get our weight moving to our left side. All right, but we don't wanna do it in a way where we're diving in, like so. So here's how we do it so we don't dive in is what I call it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your swing back this far. Your swing's gonna go right here. I do not want your hands going above your belt, right here. And then from here, what you can do is you're gonna just do a little step forward from that position. This will get you not, di not diving in. If your hands are up here, you're gonna be top heavy and dive in. We don't want that. That's why I want your hands low, because when your hands are low to the start, they come up a little bit and it keeps you from going higher. That's why we do it. So do that little drill, weight just comes back and you step forward. 
All we're trying to do is train our body to move in very athletically like, like that, like any other athletic sport that you're doing. That's the motion you have to start with. So do that 500 times. All right, you got it. Then we're gonna go to phase two. This is one of my favorite drills I ever do, and it's this. So instead of thinking hands way up here, because that would look like this, I want you to think about hands over here, way over to your left pocket. If you look at it from the front, they, it looks like it's way ahead. It's not really way ahead, like this and this are very similar in terms of impact, but they're very different in terms of what your body has to do to get there. This, you gotta shut the face and do all that. This, oh, that's easy. So here's the drill to get that, where your hands are coming around your left side, your shoulders are opening, and it's forcing your hips open all at once without getting too technical. Take a little swing, a little three-quarter guy, okay? Mid-iron, wedge, whatever. Take it back here, and as you hit, you're gonna step back here like this, and just swing and hit the ball like so. Back, like so. And this is where I wanna be. I wanna be wide open with my shoulders. I want my hips wide open. I'm training my body to open up. And the more you open up and keep that spine angle, oh, that's the sweet spot right there. You're gonna have this pro level extension right through the shot. So just step back about just behind your foot. Oh, that's good right there. Then you're actually ready to start hitting full shots. And when I say you're ready, that's assuming you did like a hundred of those. Now I want you to get two alignment sticks. I want these lined up pretty close to one another. When our divot is coming left like this, we have the right amount of descending blow on the golf ball and the largest margin for error. When we're coming too far from the inside, we get a little too shallow and our margin of error shrinks. So I'm gonna take my like hybrid or little club head cover and I'm gonna put it on the stick about a foot and a half back. So when I set up, I really want it straight back. I don't want to come inside of that. I want to go right over it. And this helps me keep that head slightly outside of my hands here so that when I come down and I'm feeling what I just felt and in that step back drill, I'm slightly hitting my divot to the left and it will produce hopefully something like this. That's what we're looking for. That ball had a little falling fade on it. That's what we want. Now to tighten up more areas of your game, watch this video right here. Love you guys. See you soon.